Uh, Lewis and the Delta firm tried to call me. Well, he was with Holly. Hey, bud. Who is Lewis Hello, from Delta? I, um, I missed your call. Sorry, I was asleep. No, it's all good. Um, I think there's been a bit of a misunderstanding from your guys of something concerning Holly. Um, I know, I've literally just woke up, mate. What's, what do you mean? So, tell me. So, I'll, t I'll, t I'll do a break, break down of a step by step how it occurred in my eyes. So, basically, they, we, me and Holly were driving to City Hawk, she was going to buy a boat. And uh, as we got out of the car, like eight people with guns pulled up and held her up, kidnapped her, put a blindfold on her and everything. Obviously, that was it. It was the last I saw of her. So I knew that she'd been hanging around with certain people in coalition. And I'd spoken to Omar that day. So I gave Omar a call because I, I didn't know if... Because Omar basically asked me about her like earlier on in the day, how she was and stuff. So my, I, my initial thought instantly was, oh, it's like an initiation thing. They're fake kidnapping her, right? So then I went to the ranch and kind of was just chilling. And then obviously Holly, unfortunately, didn't make it. She ended up in Polito. I found her. I told her she was kidnapped. We went to Coalition because we met with Neve from Coalition just before. And Coalition told her that apparently it was ballers. And it was because she apparently snitched on him to the police the other day in a situation where they shot a policeman outside AE. But like... That couldn't be further from the truth because I was literally stood next to her when the whole thing occurred and I just wanted to kind of make sure they didn't think she was a snitch because she definitely did not snitch. I was stood there watching it all. It's a bit of a... I, I get it because, as you know, obviously I was in the in this side of things. You can't be too careful. But, like, she pulled a gun on your boys and I told her to pull it away. And I and I basically pulled her away from the situation. I was like, you know, get over there, and then told her to get out of it because she obviously she had a gun on her. And I didn't even know. Who did she and put then, a gun on? On, on from, the, from the, my side. Uh, the guys in the car, because obviously I don't know who was whoever was in the Sultan. So I don't know who it was, but yeah, basically, I've, obviously I didn't notice at the time, but based on what we now know, three of your boys turned up the other night outside auto and shot a policeman. So we obviously ran around the back of the shop to see what the fuck was going on, saw a policeman on the ground. Uh, they've reversed oh, up because yeah. one of your guys was on the ground to get him. They've picked him up. As he's picked him up, Holly's then pointed the gun at the car. So then I was like, put your fucking gun down, get out of here. And then your boys drove off. And then when they drove off, literally like two or three cars have come from Pillbox to AE. And at that point in time, Holly wasn't even here. And I'd walked off into the, the complex to serve the people who were waiting. So, like, she definitely 100% didn't snitch, bro. And you know I wouldn't fucking lie to you either, because I know the consequence of lying. Um, well, snitching, I know this could be like a varied thing, can't it? It can be from, like, the shouting police when they drive by to, like, sending a text message, you know? Yeah, of course it can. But, I'd like, from, from someone who was at the scene, I didn't hear or see of anything of that nature because I, I just, when I walked off, that's where I walked off hearing the sirens come in round the corner from Pillbox and then they literally pull into AE. And then obviously I was like, yeah, your boy's on the ground over there and just carried on serving away. I asked them if they needed a drink, all that kind of shit. Yeah, I mean, I know the boys get a bit, um, a bit rowdy when guns get pointed at them, so. I appreciate it. I, you know, I get that. That's why I'm not arguing the toss of the coin on any of that. I just don't. I wanted to clear her name because I don't think it's fair her being labelled a snitch because she definitely didn't snitch, man. I can tell you that for sure. And again, like I said to you, I understand the consequence of lying about that kind of shit because we had a snitch in Delta, as you know. Oh, Stevie, was it? Yes. <laughs> oh, rest in you know, peace, Stevie. Exactly, bro. So I wouldn't lie to you about that kind of shit, would I? Because yeah, we been yeah. we been there off for the same reason, so you know she got we because of her we had to give fucking hustlers a fucking shotgun. So damn, what are you doing anyway I, these days? Are you still Delta Fair? What's going on? Bro, I'm, I serve you every day yeah. in auto, and we have drag races planned to start now. I mean that's illegal, what? mate. What? <laughs> I serve you auto exotic, bro. <laughs> oh, I'm at auto, ain't I? I, I don't know. Part-time thing. No, 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 no. I completely left the gang shit, bro. Completely left it. 
That's why I sold the gas station. Oh, um, okay. I kind of retired. Like, I just it kind of got a bit samey for me, like. So I kind of just taken a step back from it for a while. All right. So that's why I'm just chilling with these guys, like flipping cars and just making a bit of money that way, you know. All right. Well, um, I'll find out a bit more information about what I can on what Holly yeah. did or didn't do, and what what evidence we've got from other car, you know, car dash cams and shit. Yeah, so man. But yeah, like, like I said, from from my from my eyes, because I would have probably have told them to shut up as well if they would have tried to do that, because obviously I understand how everything works. So from my eyes, or my perspective, I should say, I can't remember or even remotely remember anyone even speaking to the police or flagging anyone down or anything like that. So, but yeah, like I said, see, see what you can find out. And if, you know, if, you, if we can clear the air about it with her, and obviously we will do, but yeah, yeah, well, it's obviously right. a horrible burden to bear having that label against you in this city. So I thought I'd try and help her out. That's very kind of you, sir. <laughs> no worries, man. Well, you know where I am, if you, you know, if you need a clean. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably pop up in a bit, to be honest. <laughs> to sound, mate. All right, mate, I'll see you in a bit. All right, catch you in a bit. All right.